All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the fifth floor of the mill. My name is Stephen, and I'm the, the steward of this beautiful space, and we're going to give you a quick tour of it. So down here, in this red light corridor, is uh, where we have residence spaces. So come on through, it's very nice. So we've got eight bedrooms, uh, one of which I live in. I shan't tell you which one, in case you come and stalk me. But um, <laughs> yeah, we have eight rooms for artists to come and stay in and have a residency space, or perhaps they're doing workshops, whatever it might be. Um, so currently nobody exciting in these rooms, but sure there will be at some point. And then we have the space itself. Dun, dun, dun. Which is for performance, for uh, workshops, for residencies, whatever it might be, queer family tea, loads of stuff going on. And then up in the rafters, we've got archive spaces, another beautiful little cozy workshop space up there as well. And then a lovely big kitchen for all your dining needs <laughs> in here as well. So this is the fifth floor, but what we'd love to do is get a run of the mill and go and see who else is in the mill, what people are hiding in their little studios and might want to tell us some things as well as answering some questions from my lovely jar of questions. Shall we go? Let's do it. Sweet, hello. Who are you and what do you do? In nice. the mill. What do I do in the mill? Uh, yes, my name's Chris. Um, I have a little studio up there. So we have this beautiful little mezzanine, um, which I love. Um, the, my kind of mill space is like, a, we. there's four of us that rent desk space in there. So it's kind of like a cooperative working space. Um, because what I do myself, I'm, like, I'm a movement practitioner. So I make um, like solo work and I work as a movement director on theatre shows as well. So the mill space is like, it's really lovely space that I can come to and have a bit of like cooperative working time. Uh, when I've got like run in-person meetings. I also do like embodiment therapy. So I do like those kind of sessions in there, occasionally one-to-one -one ones. I'm having a meeting today um, with, an, with a novelist. We're sort of transforming their text into a live text. So we're slowly going through that R&D process. So me and them are at the very early stages of like post-production. So we're having a long day meeting in there today. Um, yeah, so it's just a, a super great space for kind of having all those balances and also that thing of like when you're got like you'll know you're a freelancer when you're like cracking on with all that admin and you're like where do I go and you've been staring at your laptop for half an hour uh, half an hour five hours um, <laughs> not half an hour <laughs> half an hour when it's like it's like fucking six hours just to do one email yeah the mill also acts as that space where I can knock on someone's door and be like how's your day going mm. Yeah, because it's lonely being a freelancer, you know? You're operating by yourself a lot. God, I'm chatting. Like and no, it's all right. You've got dogs here as well, so that helps. Yeah, the... yeah, man. We've got these beautiful <laughs> dogs. This is Archie knocking about. We've got Shady down there. Uh... Um, these are two little rude boys doing their thing. They're always at the door, well, ready to welcome you in. She likes to sleep under that table there. If you have a moment, <laughs> you should try it out. That's the comfiest seat. That's the comfiest seat in the mill. That's the comfiest seat in the Heard mill. Heard it here first. That's the comfiest <laughs> seat in that bad boy. Um, I'm not, you can pop your head into my studio if you want to throw your camera in there and just have a look at our fairy lights. Um, uh, fairy lights? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Here we go. Ooh, who's behind this door? You know, we fly our flags uh, proudly. Um, I got this from a, um, when they closed unit two down, this was the one thing I got from the unit. So a little American bald eagle. Great, that's a little memento. Little memento for the building they shut down. <laughs> and yeah, so there's like a bunch of us in here, which is really nice when everyone's in. It's got that really fun feeling. Um, the Hoover's been broke for a long time. Um, here's a really cute picture of me and my friend. Uh, I keep that. Uh, these are some drawings. So this is like part of the embodiment practice. So you like uh, lie on the floor and like, um, develop like a sense of embodiment and then you get up and move and then after you finish moving you lie down and close your eyes and you try and recreate the patterns of what your movement were so it's not designed to be beautiful it's just like a almost like a therapeutic process yeah, yeah. of being like okay these are the patterns that my body goes on um oh you want to see this is great so this is a picture of me when i was 17 <laughs> and that's a uh, that's my mum's old nursing uniform but the reason this is funny is because my friends then did painted this for their A-level art piece in a, on a 12 by six piece of canvas meters. 
So it's oh, wait, does that still exist somewhere? It exi they've still got it hanging in the common room. It's like one wall of, yeah, really shit comprehensive in Cumbria. Just one side of it is just this absolutely massive painting of me completely off my face <laughs> at a festival. Um, well, there. there you go, that's everything I got for you. Uh, I have one thing for you. Would you like to answer one question from the jar of questions? That's right. Absolutely. There's high productive values on this stuff. Absolutely. We spent at least a minute okay, preparing. Let's move that orange peel. It's all right. Oh, that's the noise it makes. Ooh, my keys are also geez, in there. Oh, yeah, this is the I mean, yeah. Wow, look at these. It was just me to try and give my keys to you. Room two. <laughs> is that what it is? You can stay <laughs> here, mate. Let's go wherever room two is. Uh, okay, sure. Okay. Is it going to be any of. It's nothing not difficult. Not well, I mean, it might be difficult. Not a mass Who knows? Favorite country to visit? Oh. Like, two answers to this. There's like the reality one, which is that I really love getting in the car and driving to Scotland. I mean, hello, yes. You know what I mean, and putting on like the Kaylee music mm -hmm. and just like getting into it. But like, yeah, somewhere I want to go, like, yeah, Costa Rica or Argentina or something like that, you know, mm -hmm. South America. Okay. Well, I hope it happens for you. So do I. Get in the car and just drive to South America. <laughs> oh, do I need to get my question gone? No, no. Like, we'll keep it. It's okay. You've ruined everything. What's your name? I'm Hannah. <laughs> Um, what do you do in the mill? I mean, we can see <laughs> exciting things happening. Explain. Yeah. So I'm a glass blower, but I do like a bit of like sculptural work as well. I just graduated from the art school. Um, yeah, and I make lamps as well. So yeah, with some like mosaic tiles and this is a bit of like paper mache with plaster. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Wait, so, so you're like, because it's sanding this down, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, I'm just um, just making it smooth so I can put all my tiles on it. It's going to be um, stripy. And is this like a commission for somebody or, uh, yeah? Well. No, it's not actually. I've got a exhibition coming up at Waterside in sale um, in a couple of weeks' time. So it's going to make it first. Brilliant. <laughs> Love it. What's your, what's your favourite okay. item to be creating? <laughs> I do like lamps. They're, they're like uh, making things like, oh, especially with glass work with a lot of pinks and reds and they all kind of like look nicer when they're lit up. I have a jar of questions. Okay. Would you like to take one? They're not too difficult. Okay. I, pr I okay. promise you that. There's no maths question. <laughs> question. You're the second person to ask that. Okay. Artists do not like maths. <laughs> okay. um, I'm going to let you... Do you want me to open the jar? You can open the jar. Okay. I'll make a sound effect as you do it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Mine was okay, nicer. What is it actually? <laughs> have a rummage. Yeah. Favourite type of pasta? I mean, that is quite a hard question, to be fair. Um, I like the butterfly one. Mm -hmm. what, what's that called? Farf farfella? Far, 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 Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that one. Right right into us, Italians. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, great. With any particular sauce? Um, Probably like a creamy sauce with peas. Good combo, I'd say. Thanks so much for chatting to us. <laughs> Pop it back in the in the jar. We will continue. Yeah, as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Hi. Um, I feel like I should be ordering a drink, actually. But <laughs> hello. Um, who are you? Where are we? What's going on? Um, so I'm Nick, and this is a Mirage Bar. It's a queer bar uh, in the Grand Port of Islington Mill. What sort of stuff happens here? I've 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 been here a couple of months, and it feels like there's always loads of different stuff going on in this bar. What? Yeah. What type of events and things do you have? Right, yes, it's quite a varied programme of events. It's uh, the Bread and Butter is club nights, and then we also have art shows, cabaret, um, gigs, and private parties. That's kind of the whole programme, I think, really. Uh, but yeah, it's very varied, and lots of different uh, groups of people. We try to keep it quite, um, a, quite a mix of groups, I guess. But mm. yeah. And these sculptures in the room are yours? Uh, yeah, is that right? Like, yeah. Yeah, so Beautiful. They are, um, the, the bar is set in a um, queer utopia after the apocalypse in the desert. It's in an oasis in the desert, and it's Pat Butcher that set up the bar. Um, <laughs> and, but she went out for cigarettes and never came back, and then uh, left me just looking after the bar, basically. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been looking after the pub? Um, well, so, this, so we had um, a, a space in Unit 2. I think that was since 2021. This one has been since January last year, the year before last, 
Um, yeah, so one year. <laughs> so I'm not very good with time. <laughs> Don't know What's time? Who needs time? <laughs> <No idea>. <laughs> <laughs> Have you left this bar since? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've yeah, been here for a year. Beautiful. Okay, would you like to answer a really difficult yeah, question? Absolutely. You're like the now. The, how many people have asked? Is it maths? Oh, wait, that Literally, I, if I was to do a straw poll of artists in the mill, nobody likes maths. No, no. <laughs> do not ask maths. What's your question? Oh, it's the worst thing to say to an artist. Ah, oh, right. I quite like damning people with faint praise, like going saying something like. Oh, this one's kind of good, like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when they've really tried hard on it and it's a really good bit of work. Can you go no, this is a nice colour. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Something very mediocre. Yeah, that's when you know. Okay, don't do any of that. <laughs> it's a very supportive place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you so much. Pleasure, nice, uh, to, yeah, nice to speak to you. Yeah, yeah. pleasure. Come to Mirage. Who are you? What are you doing here? And what brings you to the mill? <laughs> um, so my name's Julia. Um, I'm a jewelry designer, a 3D designer, artist, loads of different hats. And today I'm making some jewelry orders up and some mirrors for a wholesale order. So. Ah, brilliant. Okay. We, <laughs> so let, can you tell me a little bit about exactly what you're doing with yeah, the making. Yeah, sure. So I mostly work with repurposed plastics. So these are all made from offcuts. I work with a factory in Denton called Plastic Formers. Mm -hmm. And I buy all of their odds and sods, like the bits that they would normally recycle. Yeah. I go and do a bit of a skip dive and they save me pieces. And then I kind of jigsaw them all together to create jewellery. And I've just started making these homeware pieces. So these are wall mounted mirrors and they have to put like sun catchers like wherever you hang them the light bounces off them any any tips on anyone wanting to get started in this kind of world of making um <laughs> god it was a long time ago <laughs> i guess for me i've had a bit of a interesting path through education i guess i kind of retrained when i was like in my late 20s i went back and did a 3d design degree um wow. and then kind of set up from there um for me, it was finding somewhere affordable that you've got a good community where you can kind of like work with people, have your own practice, and then always collaborate. Collaborate, work with other people. That's the key, isn't it? Uh, oh, totally. Like, I think it is. I think a lot of the time for like artists, so I'm musicians, what I do, but like I think any art, you're kind of fed this story of like you have to be in competition with everybody. But you know, I think collaboration is the way out of that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a good lesson though, isn't it? Like not keeping your ideas to yourself. I think when I started out, I was a bit like that with my homework and like, these are my things. And now I'm just like, yeah, give it all away. And then you have more. And also people share your ideas, share their ideas and your ideas. It's the best way. Yeah, totally. Love it. Well, thank you so much. Um, I don't know if you've caught the, the studio roundabout, but it's full of color and it's very, like, it's <laughs> lots of knickknacks. <laughs> inside of our brains. <laughs> So welcome to ADHD <laughs> world. <laughs> I love it. It's a very inviting space to come into. So ah, nice. thanks for showing us. Okay, I do have, don't worry, it's nothing too difficult, but I have a jar of questions. Do you well, I know there is a key in here, which, I, you know, it is mine. <laughs> swinging your thumb. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, no one. <laughs> May as well, while we're here, please pick one out, okay. read it out. Uh, hopefully nothing too... You have to paint in here one colour, what is it? I feel that is a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Um, I think we both agree on orange as like a favourite this week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be a weekly but, painting job. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think actually, no, if it was going to be a studio paint, mm, I think white just because everything's like so colourful on top of it. I feel like you need mm -hmm. that gallery white backdrop mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. A lot, lot of colour going on in here yeah. already. <laughs> <laughs> Fab, do you want to do one more? Sure. Go on. I feel like, you know, okay. you've got good I answers. Just saw the word chickens. <laughs> chickens or eggs? Eggs. Um, that is some quality yeah. content here. It is, it is the quality <laughs> content we're looking for. Eggs, most versatile food in the world. Chicken. Yeah. Okay. And what came first? Oh, fuck knows. Um, I'm going to say egg. I feel like it's been Easter recently. Let's go egg. Egg. For Egg. Jesus. Eggs for Jesus. Eggs for Jesus. Isn't a mill. Keeping things holy. <laughs>
<laughs> you can cut all of that. <laughs> very much. Uh, thank you so much for showing us around. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs>